Welcome, I'm in Spanish, I have a beard, and this is my podcast. Last episode, I talked about cars. And right when I was done, I realized I missed a very important topic. So it's time for Cars 2. And not that terrible movie, you know, I wasn't able to finish. But an actual second part, probably better than the first one. And so far, I think we're probably not waste our time with a third part. Um, anyway, so how often should you be cleaning your car? Like, honestly, I don't remember cleaning my Ford Focus from 2016 to 2018. This basically is as long as I had it. But with the Kona, I'm trying to keep it clean. Mostly because, first, it is black and not silver. And second, because I get nervous about things damaging the paint. I mean, I already have a mark on the hood from something. It has been there since the third month of having the car, and I don't know what it is, but I probably should get check that out. Maybe something that could be polished, you know? Um, there was a construction... There was some construction going on in our street and our area for, for months. I've maybe, I think like the whole summer, maybe a couple of months after. So, it's probably some industrial crap. The thing is, it left a mark like it was like dripping for, for uh, I guess, more than once. Uh, it's weird uh, because it leaves like that mark that starts big, like where it was like the drops were falling and then it slides down the hood. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know where it is, but uh, it does it does bother me a lot. Um, I mean, I don't want to be one of those guys uh, or, or women that cover the car with a tarp and then pass an actual like dusting thing over it like every, every week and then like vacuum every week and like stuff like that. I want to get to that level. But I do want to, you know, avoid getting more marks in the car and, and, and you know, parts start getting, I don't want parts to start getting rusty because of like salt accumulation and basically all those things that can happen in Montreal. And the other thing is when it comes to the inside, you know, First, having kids sucks for that. It mean, sucks for other things. It has great, great things, but having kids sucks when it comes to your car. And let's say they're pretty inconsiderate, you know. In my case, my two-year-old doesn't even know consequences of, like, kicking the car seat uh, over years, you know. Um, and the other thing is you can't imagine all the places that found goldfish inside the car. I mean... I've been calculating the ways those goldfish have traveled from, you know, my daughter's car seat to where I found them, and I haven't been able to find an answer for a lot of them. Um, the good thing is I did get a vacuum, like a small vacuum for the car, and I tried to use it once in a while to get rid of all their stuff, you know. And and the other thing is I did buy as well I have a, a clear cover for the back of the passenger seat, so I would not have to worry about my daughter's, you know feet basically scratching or like getting mud all over the the back of the passenger seat. The, the, the best thing of it was when I, before putting the cover, you know, I had to like give a good cleaning to the back of the seat. And the moment I saw, you know, the some of the mud marks and like some of the scratches that seemed to be there came, I would say 99% of them came off. You know, that that was a huge relief. And, and now the cover is on, so that should be fine, right? And, and, well, I mean, the other thing is the reputation you get because of trying to keep your car clean, right? In my case, is I do try to control what people eat inside the car. You know, I have some things completely forbidden, like uh, ice cream, anything with crumbs, anything is sticky, anything with chocolate. And I'm guessing, I don't know, soups, <laughs> you know? Anything that it doesn't go in a bottle and is liquid, you know, let's try to put it as well, right? But I mean, I'm guessing that if you eat in bed, you're probably fine with eating in your car. But if you're like me, you probably try to keep cramps out of both. This is it for today. If you have any comments, I would love to read them. So you can find me at Spanish Beard Guy on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for listening. Get out there, be kind, and give a fuck about the right things.